About a month ago, I saw a really interesting post on my subreddit r slash phoenixsc. It's the loading screen for Minecraft, except at the bottom, something's going on. Otherwise, it's a pretty clever idea by Seven Granddad. And responding to this post, Raven Axel said, at this point, it should be a snake game. And guess what? I did it. <laughs> this is snake game. This is a very popular retro game. Uh, if you haven't played this, basically you're a snake. You control the snake, it's a body of string, I don't know. Um, and you have to eat these little fruits, uh, or food. And the more you eat, the longer the snake becomes. The object of the game is to basically survive for as long as you can. Uh, if you hit the sides of the, of the game, so the walls, you die. If you hit yourself, you die. So, if the snake gets too long, the game gets more difficult. And essentially what the joke was, if you haven't figured it out yet, is uh, if I can just reach the, the progress bar again. It's pretty easy to control, it's WSD. So yeah, basically that happens, the, the bar loads, and instead of finishing, like that, <laughs> instead of finishing, you keep playing. You're the red bar. Hey, sometimes the bar glitches out, uh, if you haven't seen it before, if you press F3 and T to reload the resource packs in the game. Sometimes the bar glitches out, it doesn't finish, or it takes a very long time to finish, or the bar crashes your game, or the bar goes past the progress bar. So that's kind of the deeper meaning behind it. But in essence, I just wanted to fulfill the guy's wishes on the subreddit. Can I eat that? I did. And uh, I transformed the loading screen into snake game. Disable the data pack right there. So now the snake is about to hit the wall down here because I have this enabled. I used WSD to bind to one, two, three, and four. So left, up, down, and right, that's how I did it. You don't have to do that, but it's just, you're gonna be confused as you're playing the game. So the food just so happened to spawn on the J. So if I just, let me do that again. There we go, that's a better location. So, uh, so now the snake moving up, you have to press left here and control the snake to hit this food over there. And basically, the food spawning location depends on an RNG loot table. Basically, there's a loot table that determines how many items are being spawned into the chest, and that will store a value into a scoreboard. You don't need to worry about the issues there, but essentially, it's a very simple mechanic. Uh, I only spent really like a few days, four days maximum on this, um, because I wanted it to be really straightforward, no flashy screens, start the game, you load in the world, and it's playing Snake. So I set those to a numpad so I could get rid of those controls. AWSD, right there, press done, and now I can control the Snake with WASD. 99, 100. Okay, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to finish this, but uh, my highest score, I think, is 125. So if it turns out that I'm going to beat this, then I will tell you in post what my score is. I don't know, obviously, right now. Unless I die before I finish recording. But anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Snake Game. You can download it. It's um, it's not really my 100 million views special, because I made this way back when I had only like 95 million or something. And then over the weekend, um, I did reach 100 million views. It's probably just a coincidence, right? Uh, this is not something that I wanted to make for that milestone. But then again, I'm probably not going to make anything anyway. <laughs> so... Uh, this will be my 100 million views special, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching, uh, and go download it. This is for 1.14.4. Just eat the apples, as a snake must do. Snakes don't eat apples, but I guess this is this is the game, guys. Nah, I ended up dying. <laughs> 119.